Mariam is a palliative care doctor, and as part of her job, she visits patients in their own homes. I mainly look after people with advanced, progressive, life-limiting conditions. Obviously, time is really precious, and um, you want to make it as comfortable as possible for them. Personally, I felt that it was almost a calling for me. I felt that it was God guiding me to do something that would help. Quoting Mother Teresa's words, not everyone can do great things, but we can do small things with great love and compassion. Hi, Tony. Hello, Mariam. Morning, how are you? Fine, thank you. Come on in. Today, Mariam is visiting Tony, who's been diagnosed with motor neurone disease. Would you like to actually see me eat something? That'd be great. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I actually enjoy visiting people at their homes. Um, I think it's a privilege because you're going into their space. The challenge is you don't know what's going to face you over there. Um, how much can you help? I would say it's one of the most fulfilling parts of my role. Yeah, I suppose it's, um, it's also stops you from feeling that eating is such a massive effort. Yeah, yeah, it makes it so much easier. Yeah. Um, I found that um, it was quite tiring sometimes to eat. Yes. And, um, I've always thought about medicine as itself, not as something that could really fix people. We all die eventually. But if we could do something to help carrying a bit of that cross for them and make even the smallest difference, it's crucial for them to have some comfort and ease in their suffering then I thought, well, that's something that will work for me. When she's not out on visits, Mariam is based at the hospice, Loros. Hi. How are you? Hi, thanks. How's it going? I wouldn't dream of working in a place that's glum and gloomy. The hospice is a place where we try our best to make sure that people get as many happy moments as possible when they are here. It's a job that demands not just Mariam's medical skills, but also takes a good deal of emotional strength. Sadness does touch you frequently. I think when I get overwhelmingly sad, it's my faith that helps me cope with it. A lot of people are quite worried about offering spiritual support to a certain extent, so it's wonderful to know that we're doing it perhaps just right for you. Because I know how my faith helps me understand people who have a belief, not necessarily a particular religious belief, I'm able to actually explore a bit more sensitively. Team are just amazing. I'm getting a bit upset. It's a, it's rather wonderful. It really is. Yeah. Well, I know that you're an inspiration for me. Oh, thank you. I believe that the Holy Spirit is within each breath, and um, and when it's difficult to actually stop and think sometimes, if and you just feel it's just getting a bit much, we have to actually take that moment to take a breath in and out and think that's God's breath, that's Holy Spirit coming in and out.
Come, Holy Spirit of God, renew us with your grace and fill us with your love, that your creation may sing of your glory. Amen. Amen. And may the Spirit of truth lead you into all truth and give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, I hope you've been inspired by the message of Pentecost, the incredible people we've met, the stunning art, and of course, the music. I've loved being in Leicester, and Songs of Praise will be back in this great city later on in the year. But until then, we leave you with our final hymn, Breathe On Me, Breath of God.
Before we go, I have exciting news of this year's Big Sing recording at the Royal Albert Hall on Sunday, the 14th of September. We'll be singing fabulous hymns and Christmas carols. It's going to be a wonderful evening. The phone lines and box office will be open from 9 a.m. tomorrow. Please don't try calling now. The number to call is 0845 401 5022. Calls cost up to 5 p.m. a minute from most landlines. Calls from mobiles may cost considerably more. You'll find the telephone number and more information on the Songs of Praise website, bbc.co.uk slash songs of praise. If you can't make it, don't worry. You'll have a front row seat by watching on the BBC wherever you are. Next week, we celebrate fathers and fatherhood. Claire meets up with hymn writers Keith and Christine Getty, and there's also music from Matt Redman. We'll also have some great Father's Day hymns from St. Patrick's Church in Jordanstown. So Songs of Praise returns next week at 5.25 here on BBC One. Next this afternoon, exploring the ever-changing landscape of Snowdonia and the weather for the week ahead in Countryfile. A friend of mine has disappeared. Oh, what would you say that is? It's blood. Swat.